Hey Wednesday here, and today we're checking out the early access to Sword Reverie. The story goes that one day I was checking out my emails and I stumbled upon one that had a key to this game for some reason. I'm not sure if it's a developer or a bot that sent me that, but I can't complain about free content. So Sword Reverie is an action-adventure JRPG set in the fantasy world invaded by the elemental monsters, with the premise to resolve the conflict and bring back peace that's been there for thousands of years. My thoughts on this game are pretty straightforward. I do like the overall concept and the design of the project. It really brings out this anime sword fighting gameplay aka Sao or Genshin Impact. It struggles a little bit with the UI and the simplistic mechanics, even though it includes combat physics, the game is just a little bit too easy and you don't really pay attention to enemy attacks or whatever is going on. It is in early access after all, so I'm assuming with time it's gonna be better and better, but currently in that stage for me, the developers need to bring polish and up the stakes with art style to pull off an actual fantasy world. It's fun to cast spells and swing your weapons around but in my eyes there's still work to be done, so I hope this game will continue to grow. Let's go to the gameplay. Finally, you're here. Our country, the kingdom of Newcrest, is being attacked by elementals. I am Magnus, the Guardian. I have summoned you to save my world. Lend us your power to defeat the invader's brave hero. <laughs> no time to waste. We need to hurry. There is so much like glowing things here. I'm not sure if it's Follow me. This way. Due to the art style or something? I mean I see for this world, but overall I mean the world. Oh wow. That's the town of Dorland. The elemental army is rapidly approaching. I have no doubts that Stella, my daughter, is evacuating the people of the town as we speak. We must help her. Need a break? You can temporarily return to your own world and access the menu by clicking that pause button. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's blocked by the sword. Look, an elemental spirit. Ready your weapon. Oh. Swing hard like me to kill it. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Okay. There you go. <laughs> Not so hard, was it? Let's move. <laughs> you didn't do anything, though. There's a lot of graphics going on, but like on different levels. Slow motion on attack. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> don't bother with him. <laughs> Can I block their attacks? Yeah, alright. Well, at least it's better combat than in one hammer. By the way, your weapons have an elemental attribute. Fire is strong against grass, but weak against water. Switch elements to make your attacks more effective. How? Try switching to the grass element. Grass is strong against water, but weak against fire. <laughs> Simplistic, but okay. is strong against fire, but weak against grass. Try switching to the water element. Also, I would appreciate subtitles. I should say it in every game though. Gold has no strengths or weaknesses. You can use it against groups of different enemies. Try switching to the gold element. Oh. Attack him. 
be more fair. Would be interesting to like switch elements but for singular weapons. Like in one hand fire, one hand water. I don't know, just random. Oh. <laughs> we have chapters now. Wait, wait, wait. There's guild hall. What? Okay. A main hub with me. <laughs> we can buy new weapons or rather craft them from the drop we loot. Alright. The UI seems very amateur, but at least there's something going on, so I'll give them that. That pathetic element of spirit is fully armored. We won't be able to kill it without destroying its armor first. Focus your attacks on breaking through pieces of its armor. I don't think I broke the armor, <laughs> but him at least. Damn. It's inconsistent. <laughs> Will you do something finally? Kill that pitiful elemental across the gorge to raise the bridge. The shockwave ability is a ranged attack. Let me teach you how to use a shockwave. Follow my lead. Raise your hands above your head and bring them down quickly. Hold down. Let's try this again. Hold down the button, then raise your hands above your head. Don't release the button until you finish it. Very impressive. You might have quite the talent for elemental magic. I mean, it activates sometimes when you fastly do that, but sometimes when it's like. Hmm. Again, inconsistent. I don't need to move my hands even. So what's the gold? Basically just ranged attack. Now, I need you to keep in mind. Abilities cost mana. Look down to see how much mana you have remaining. The shockwave ability costs one mana. Attack enemies or wait for mana to regenerate and then kill the enemy on the other side, so we can cross the river. Attack enemies or wait for mana to regenerate, and then kill the enemy on the other side, so we can cross the river. The physics is kinda awkward, like... Attack enemies or wait for mana to regenerate, and then kill the enemy on the other side, so we can cross the river. I'm not sure if it's due to just poor physics, or... Because it blocks kinda weirdly? Attack enemies, or wait for oh mana my to God. regenerate, and then kill the enemy on the other side, so we can cross the river. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, no mana. <laughs> He's starting to piss me off. <laughs>
Ah, your first challenge. An elemental warrior. Their kind is much more powerful. They are invincible to physical damage when attacking. Oh. Good that you mentioned. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very much a challenge. <laughs> Is he really? Yeah, he's right. You can combine the shock wave with the four elements for different effects. What do you mean? One shot, okay. <laughs> At least give me your swords if you're not gonna use them. My ears. <laughs> Okay, I think I'll end the overview here. There is some interesting concept going on. It needs polish big time. I'm not sure if the collision with weapons and monsters works as it should. Like, maybe keep it but without slow motion because then you don't have a discrepancy between each attack in a sequence to not throw you off. I would need subtitles just because it seems like a no-brainer for me in VR. We can craft a new weapon. Here we go. Nice. The game is very easy, so this is just to enjoy some anime RPG combat in the Sao Kirito style, I guess. It's still early access, so you know, this is just like a beginning of the project and who knows how it's gonna revolve in the future, but I'll keep an eye on it just in case. <laughs>